Engineer Man here. Today we're going to make programming cool again by teaching you how to launch CUDA kernels and run computations directly on your GPU. Ready? Good. So today it's launching computations using an NVIDIA GPU with CUDA in C. Levels and intermediate. You should know a little bit about C before taking this on. First, what do you need to get started? Well, you need an NVIDIA GPU which supports CUDA. This shouldn't be that hard to find. Your GPU probably supports CUDA if it was made any time in the last eight years. It should support some version of CUDA. And then you'll need to download the CUDA toolkit. That's located in the description and that link will give you installation instructions. So how are CUDA programs compiled? Inside that CUDA toolkit is a special compiler. It's called NVC or the NVIDIA CUDA compiler. When NVC is ran it's going to split the code, CUDA code, into uh, CUDA specific code and then regular C code. The CUDA code is going to be compiled in NVCC and the C code is going to be compiled with your host compiler which is GCC or Clang or whatever you have installed. The resulting object files are going to be linked into a final executable. Example time, let's do it. So here's our CUDA file. Lines 3 and 5 are very important. This is going to be the actual kernel that's going to be loaded onto the device. The device is going to be anywhere in here where you see device, I'm referring to the GPU itself. So this will be the actual code that's ran on the GPU. So then we have our main function, that's a typical C function, and then we have a number of things here. So first, we're creating a program that's going to just add two numbers, something very simple, So, and then store the result in another variable. So here we have our host copies, we have number one, number two, and then the result, and then we have our device copies. The reason we have to separate these two is because the GPU cannot talk to the host directly, and the host cannot talk to the GPU directly. So you have to make copies of each variable and then pass them between the two. So now that we have that, three pointers, and they have to be pointers. So first we allocate space on the device. CUDA malloc is going to be the function that's used for that. CUDA malloc is very similar to C's malloc, except CUDA malloc you pass a pointer, or you pass the reference of a pointer and the size, and then it's going to allocate space directly on the GPU. So here we're simply picking two numbers. Num1 will be 4, num2 will be 5. All is good. Now we must copy these values to the device. Remember, they can't talk between each other, so we have to copy to it. So here we're taking the reference of num1, and we're copying it into the pointer num1, and then doing the same for num2. And this is a special CUDA call, CUDA memcopy host to device, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's copying it from our host to our GPU. Finally, it's time to launch the kernel. Now, this is special syntax. This is not standard C, but NVCC does recognize it. This is called the launch configuration. Now, kernel is the same name as what's up here. And you can name this whatever you want. I named it kernel. You can name it whatever you'd like. There's no restrictions. And then this is called the launch configuration, triple angle brackets. Now, these two numbers, the first number is going to be how many blocks you'd like the kernel to run on, and the second number is how many threads you'd like the kernel to run on. Included in this repo is a CUDA multi.cu over here, which actually does more than one block, and you can check that out later. So finally, the kernel gets launched. It runs this code on the GPU, stores the result of the two number, the sum of the two numbers in result. And then here is where you copy it from the device. So this is kind of the reverse of the copy to the device. So what we're doing is we're taking the device copy and we're copying it into your result. And then we're simply printing out the result. So let's, let's go ahead and run it. So I, actually first check out the make file. So the make file, notice I'm using nvcc. I'm compiling cuda.cu. I'm outputting it as cuda. So we'll make it. Now when I run CUDA, you'll know it doesn't run immediately. There's a slight delay, but then it outputs 9. And 9 is going to be the sum of 4 and 5, the two numbers that we chose to use here. And the slight delay is because there's some overhead in copying everything to the device and back. And that's important because you shouldn't just use your GPU to calculate everything. GPU is a very specific purpose. And in another video, I'm going to cover basically running more computations in parallel, whereas today we just did one. And that's going to be this CUDA multi, but I'll cover that in a separate video. But I'm leaving it in the repo. If you want to check it out, that video will come out soon.
And just like that, you are that much smarter on CUDA kernels and GPU computing. Pat yourself on the back, you earned it. In the comments below, let me know if I missed anything, or if you have any questions. I read and I usually reply to every single comment, and I love reading your feedback. And make sure to punch that subscribe button, and the like button too, if you feel like I deserved it. See you next time.